Now let's go back to your time with the Apple Sox, that 2010 team. You guys won the West Coast League Championship. Yeah. You had the league strikeout lead with 66 punch outs. Just great stuff. Just take me back to that season, what you remember, the emotions, just anything you kind of remember. Yeah, it, it was, you know, truly one of the most special summers of my life looking back. Um, I got to play with five or six of my future Gonzaga teammates there, um, and that was really the start of some of my lifelong friendships too. So um, some of my best friends have come from that team and guys I still talk to every day and some guys that live here in Seattle that were at the game even on Friday. So, um, you know, just – the coaching staff, uh, my host family, Robin and Tracy Thompson, you have to give them a shout out. They've been an incredible. They hosted my brother when he played there. Um, and so just the special, the people that are there, I think is what I'll remember most. I'm going to mention your brother in a second. I did have a question plan for him, but I want to go back to um, talking about that. What's, what's probably, perhaps your favorite memory in Wenatchee? From your time, because oh, you said such a memorable summer. Yeah, I, I think, it, sadly, maybe it was one of the off days. It was, uh, I mean, and that's not saying anything bad about the baseball stuff, too. It was just uh, one of the off days we went up to Chelan with the team, and, um, it, you know, we just had one of those times where it was just the boys at the lake and um, really just bonding. And I think, you know, going into my college years, that was right after my high school season. So, um, you know, kind of introducing me to college and getting to know those guys, I think that's just, it'll stick with me for a long time. Fair enough. Now I want to get to your brother because, of course, you played there and then he goes there last summer. Yeah. How much of your experience did you kind of pass on and say, hey, this is a pretty good place to play some summer ball? I think, you know, there wasn't a lot of uh, explaining I needed to do. Once he was there, he realized that it was a special place. And uh, like I said, he stayed with the same host family I did. And um, I think from day one, you know, you, you kind of walk in. It feels like, you know, minor league baseball. You know, you get a good crowd every night and a couple thousand people on Friday on the weekends. And, um, you know, you get under the lights and you feel like it's a, it's a pretty big deal. And, and, uh, and so I know that he had a blast with that. That was a really fun time for him, too. Last question I have for you. If you were talking to someone who was joining the Apple Sox tomorrow and they were spending their summer with the team, what kind of advice would you give them and what else might you tell them? Um... I, I would be. I would tell them to just have one of the one of the most fun summers of, of their of their career, you know, and um, soak up every minute of it because you know you look back on it and, and you think about wow those were those are some sp pretty special times and um, especially as a college kid or a high school kid going into there, um, you just you know you start learning things, learning lessons that you know teach you how to be a man and um, on and off the field. And so I would just. I would tell them to just soak it up, you know, learn, learn every bit you can, and, and uh, you never know where this game might take you, so take advantage of it. 